Well, if you want to experience green space, Ohio certainly has pl plenty to offer. I mean, Cleveland is nicknamed the Forest City after all. As Leon Bibb shows us, there is a trail that runs right through Northeast Ohio to points all over the state, and all you have to do is follow the blue markers. The old saying, a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. We are on a journey, not a thousand miles, but let us not quibble over how far we walk. We're hiking a special route. Come along if you have a mind for it. We're on the Buckeye Trail. You should be able to go completely around the entire state of Ohio. Walking most of Ohio would be a big trip, but Bob Marecki, supervisor of the Buckeye Trail, knows the way. The Buckeye Trail is a network of wooded walkways winding out of Northeast Ohio, bound for Southern Ohio, only to head north again for Toledo and then back to Greater Cleveland. It was at the Brettsville Reservation of the Cleveland Metro Parks I found Bob. He is one of the volunteers who looks out for the Buckeye Trail and its 1,444 miles. He knows what the folks who began the trail in 1959 had in mind. Connect Lake Erie to the Ohio River. Mm -hmm. That's what it was, and there was, a, there was a sequence of trails that went that way. Were you to walk all or part of the 1,444 miles, you might fear losing your way. Fear not, my friend. Every few yards, there is a blue trail blaze marker tattooed to a tree, signaling the route and where to make a turn. Volunteers help maintain the trail along with any park systems through which the trail meanders. Volunteers mark the trail. We brought along paint and a brush to refresh a road sign. Perfectly square corners, top and bottom. No, no wider. <laughs> You're getting technical on me now. <laughs> You've heard of painting the town red. Here we paint the trail blue. We were in the Cleveland Metro Parks at Brecksville where the train cuts southward towards Summit County. It's aimed for the Ohio River, generally following the state boundary lines all the way back up north to shadow the Lake Erie shoreline, moving toward northeast Ohio again. Bob knows almost every turn. It goes through towns. Yeah. It goes through towns that we never would otherwise see, and we get to meet people that we otherwise never would have met. As Bob spoke, another traveler cometh, another Buckeye trailer, Scott Brown. We were strangers when we met, but gabbed enough to become friends. You know you could do all 1,444 miles <laughs> if you wanted to. If I mark that, it, yeah, it'd take me a couple years. Yeah, how long are you going to walk it today? Uh, it's going to do about three miles. Something else about the trail through the woods, walk as much of it as you like, but within a few steps you can hear and see the magic. Listen to the woods. They speak to you. This is just a really, really peaceful place. Um, we can engage with, obviously, Mother Nature and uh, things that are provided for us. That was probably the thought when folks blazed the trail to wind through 49 Ohio counties. No matter the season, its doorway is always open. People hiking are looking for quiet and peace. Nature can give that in huge portions. In the story, The Wizard of Oz, the idea was to follow a yellow brick road to the land of Oz, a special place. Here, the idea is to follow the blue blaze marks on the trees. That will take you to a special place as well, the Buckeye Trail throughout the state of Ohio. The trail is a big circle, having no beginning and no end. Somewhere in its 1,444 mile route, there is a fellow walking it all, this largest loop trail in the country. I'll bet with every step he's found what many of us are looking for, tranquility and a relief from the everyday stresses of life, even if it is just for a while. On the Buckeye Trail, this is Leon Bibb, Channel 3 News.